Hey everyone! Okay, so this is gonna be just a really collective haul, like a bunch of different things. I actually haven't even decided where I was gonna stop yet, so we'll see. And I'm gonna try to do it pretty quickly. Um, but I'm gonna try my best not to like go off on crazy tangents, but <laughs> no promises. And I'm gonna try not to do any in-depth reviewing, but I want to go ahead and get started really quick. So. First of all, Bath & Body Works. I had a little coupon, so I went and picked up a few things. Ooh, smells so good. First, I think I got this for free, actually, with the coupon I had. And it is, I think it's a new scent. It is a pocket pack antibacterial. I put these in my purse. I have, like, a little, if you watch my What's in My Purse thing, I have, like, one of those little things. Do you know what I'm talking about? They're like jelly, little carrier. I guess you're supposed to put it on your keychain. I don't do that. Anyway, I got <laughs> I got Cinnamon Heaven, and it smells really good. I don't know why I'm smelling it. You can't smell it. Do you must. You can't smell it. Okay, Cinnamon Heaven, and I really like it. There must have been a promo because I went ahead and got three of these, and they are just the little body splashes. First, I got a Forever Favorite. It's warm vanilla sugar, and yeah, I just always love this smell. Forever. Second, I got Forever Sunshine. I wear the perfume. I have the lotion. I'm obsessed with this smell. I wear it all the time. I love Forever Sunshine. Like, I'm sorry. I just do. I don't even know what to say, and I don't know how to describe scent either, so I just love it. I love Forever Sunshine. Okay, what I, okay, side note, what I do is I just like take this bottle, instead of bringing the whole perfume bottle, I'll just bring like this and put it in my car or my bag or whatever, and I can freshen up my scent later in the day when I'm not like coming home or whatever, on the days where I'm wearing Forever Sunshine. Obviously, I don't know. That was probably a no-brainer. Okay, and last I got Sensual Amber. This is a scent that I had never smelled before, and I kind of went on a limb because, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of the Gwen Stefani G, or Baby G. I don't even, I don't even know what it's called, but I have like a little small one, and it kind of reminds me of that. So I like this. I don't wear it a lot, though. That's it for Bath & Body Works. Okay, next up is CVS. I am obsessed with CVS and I go there like every day, not really, but I go there a lot. It's ridiculous because I watch too much YouTube and I want new things all the time. Anyway, and they always give me coupons. <sighs> First, Duo Lash Glue. I got the Dark Tone. This is my favorite. I made, I don't know, this is my favorite. It's like everybody's favorite. Cause look what happened to my old one. It like totally popped off. Like that's nuts. Like there's still more product in there, but it's like ruined. Like that's not, that's not sanitary. So yeah, I got some new duo. Next up, I had a coupon for a physician's formula product. I've actually never heard of this and it is the physician's formula ultra black eye booster, two in one lash boosting eyeliner serum. Oh, that's a mouthful. Okay. Um, package looks like this. I'm covering up the little thing. The little sticker that has the address of the store. I hate that. I literally tweeted CVS and I was like, is that necessary? And they were like, didn't tweet me back. So unfriendly. Anyway, okay. <laughs> it is just a liquid liner and it has a brush tip like this and it's super ultra fine, which I really, really like. It's supposed to make your lashes grow in thicker and I've never bought a product that was supposed to make your lashes grow because I just kind of think that that is a lie. I don't know. Maybe some products do, but I've never like fallen for it. I've never been like, oh, you know, I'll buy anything. I don't know. I just never, I've never gone for it before. And I don't know, I had the coupon 
I've never tried a liquid liner by Physicians Formula, and so I went for this. Okay, they show you like some befores and afters and stuff, and it's weird and very deceiving probably. And I've been using this for a while. I don't think it made my eyelashes grow in any thicker, so I can't really say that. But what this is nice for, if you want a really, really thin, close to the lash line line, does that make sense? Okay, so yeah, you can get a really, really fine line. So that's what that is good for. However, my favorite is still the Maybelline Line Stiletto, just so you know. Okay, next I got the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightning Spray. Why did I get this? I don't know. Um, mainly, I, I saw it in Makeup by Tiffany. I think that's her whole username. Anyway, I saw this in her video and I was just like, someone in my life needs to try this. And so I just bought it. And I've actually sprayed it on my own hair. I don't know how it's gonna work out. It's probably a bad idea, whatever. I tweet her and she's like, uh, be careful. Cause I'm a crazy person. Anyway, um, so yeah, it looks like this. I've only used it like a couple times. I haven't seen any results. I don't think that's how it works. So yeah, it's just a spray. After you shower and towel dry your hair, you spray it wherever you want it to lighten it, and then you blow dry, straighten, curl, whatever. Heat is the activating thing. So, I don't know, I was kind of like, it's gonna make my hair orange, ha ha ha, and it didn't, but whatever. This is, it even says on the back, not suitable for use on medium brown or darker shades of hair. Yeah, I should stop using this. Here's the little, diagram on the back looks like this so that's apparently the effects that you can get from this product yeah I'm probably not gonna use it anymore because that seems like a bad idea anyway okay next impulse item it was like right by the checkout and I was like oh cute I want this and I think it's supposed to be like a little like a, a pill box and it was only a dollar and it has cute little high heels on it. They had ones with like purses and they had ones with ugh, makeup maybe. I don't know. All these like cute little girly things and it's just plastic and tiny, cute, whatever. And it was only a dollar. My idea, I'm gonna put eyelashes in this because sometimes I don't like to keep all the big boxes and I just put the eyelashes that I like currently love and I keep re-wearing because I like to wear my eyelashes a couple of times. Keep them in this. It's a smaller box and I'm a genius. Just kidding. Anyway, so yeah, that's cute. Next, I got something that I've heard a lot of reviews about. It's the Revlon Color Stay Normal to Dry Skin Foundation. I got it in 150 Buff. It's just foundation. I don't normally wear foundation, and I haven't even worn this a lot of times, so I can't really say that much about it. Ooh, and the rest are Revlon products. Okay, this is a lipstick that I'm wearing right now. I actually included this in a tutorial. Don't know if it's up. <laughs> okay. And it is in number 20, Baby Pink. I was inspired by someone to get this. I feel like it was... I don't remember her name. I don't remember her name. But I will put it on the screen. Um, she was gorgeous and she looked awesome with this lip color and I have it on today too. And it is, if I didn't already say it, is baby pink. And it looks, and it's pretty awesome. Color looks like that. Pretty cool how you can see my lips and the swatch at the same time. Ha ha ha. So yeah, I'm loving this. Next up, another liquid liner. <laughs> I definitely needed that. Okay, so this is the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen No Mess Liquid Liner Felt Tip for Precise Control. And I got it in number one, Blackest Black. Looks like this. And I feel like this is new because it was like in a display situation. For the most part, I've had good luck with the Colorstay products. And so I was like, worth a try. Um, and funny that I said worth a try because I haven't tried this. No, I've kind of tried it. I put like a line on my lid, but I haven't truly tried it. Uh, it seems a little fat to me. Like, it's not. I'm being really, really, really picky when I say that. It's not a fat line. I think that you would have a lot of control with this, um, and I'm sure it wears great. So, yet another felt tip liner. Even though I just said my favorite was the Maybelline. Anyway, 
Also in that little display, I found this Revlon Custom Eyes in Sweet Innocence, number 10. And I've really been trying to not buy a lot of eyeshadow because I feel like I have too much. And I have a lot of really good eyeshadows that I really like at this point, so I'm not trying. I don't know, it's just like, why confuse the issue, you know? I bought this anyways because there was like a coupon or something. Am I blinding everyone? Okay, there's like a coupon on the product, like on the package, and it was like $2 off. And uh, this is yet another thing that I haven't tried. And I'm doing these swatches out of order. Haha, <laughs> like a boss. They're mostly matte, and there's one that's really glittery. So if you like matte, them looks like that. Okay, if you like matte, sweet, innocent colors, go for this one. <laughs> looks like this. I can't do a decent review on this because I haven't used it. Uh, I meant to use it today, but I forgot. That's it for CVS, finally. And since this is lasting forever, this is going to be my last store. Does that make sense? Last door of the haul, last portion of the haul, you get what I'm saying? Okay, so Ulta, I had my little rewards thing. I don't even remember what Ulta calls theirs, but I got a free nail color. If you remember in one of my last hauls, I got a Revlon Top Speed or whatever, and it was called Candy, and I'm pretty sure it's the exact same color as this. <laughs> the color is called Airhead. That's funny. If there's one thing I love in this world, it is the names of like nail colors or lipsticks or you know eyeshadows, whatever. They're always so funny. So airhead. Okay, so yeah, it's just like a nice baby pink. I'm obsessed with baby pink lately. What up with that? Next up, I got some Basically You Beauty Rounds Value Pack. Haha, <laughs> 48 of them. And honestly, I don't remember what brand they were, but I got them from Sally's and I liked them a lot better. These feel like they have like a like a film on one side, like it's plasticky or something. And then this side feels normal. Why would it be like that? I don't like that. Anyway, good thing I have 48 of them. Okay, next I got a uh, Ardell Precision Lash Curler. I didn't say that right. Precision Lash Curler. The package looks like this. I saved it just because I think it's easier to look for things when you know what the package looks like, not just the product. So yeah, this is from Ulta. It's really inexpensive. It's Ardell. And I really like this lash curler. I've heard of like high-end amazing lash curlers. Um, but I get these and I really like them. And I'm addicted to curling my eyelashes and... Yeah, the ones that I bought before, I've actually had these curlers before, didn't come with, or I don't, I lost it if it did come with it, um, the little replacement rubber thing, so I just bought some new ones. And last, literally, here's the last thing, aren't you excited? Congratulations if you've made it this far. Anyway, it's the NYX Eyebrow Shaper, and it is a pencil that's just like wax. I use the brow cake powder set whatever i don't know i use it in, like all my tutorials you know what i'm talking about if you're subscribed to my channel p.s subscribe to my channel <laughs> so yeah that has like wax in it you like brush that on first and then you do the powder this is kind of the same idea you just put this on and then you do your powder and it sticks better and it's supposed to shape your brows my eyebrows are crazy like this isn't really shape them it, it it's not powerful enough honestly I don't know what kind of power could tame these eyebrows, but my eyebrows will like go any direction they feel like going. So, but I still like this product. <sighs> okay, so that's it. Finally, I'm sure you're sick of hearing me talk. All right, and finally, that's it for me. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like it if you like it. Comment below if you have any questions. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. And... I don't know, I'm going to try not to like do any in-depth or vic.
Okay, good. But where it is is really, 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 well, that's not right. I know all the time because I watch too much YouTube. And I hope I was holding that upside, right side up. Oh my gosh, what if I wasn't? Okay, so. Then I really look like an airhead. Ha ha ha. And on the back, they all, they all be showing you stuff. And my phone sounds like a bell now, by the way. Like a tricycle. Revlon. I'm sorry, I'm scattered right now. I've always had good luck with the cork. 